السلام عليكم welcome to a new video today's video is about the nervous system animals are classified into two main groups which are invertebrates and vertebrates and as you know invertebrates are all the animals that do not have a vertebral column and they are a lot of uh, species while vertebrates are all the animals that have a vertebral column both invertebrates and vertebrates interact with their environment by a nervous system but let's discover if this nervous system or if the nervous system of invertebrates and vertebrates are the same and if they are not what is the difference between them let's start with the nervous system of vertebrates and of course uh, we will take the example of the human being uh, the nervous system of the humans uh, consists first of the brain and uh, the spinal cord which is uh, found inside the vertebral column it's like a tube and the brain and the spinal cord are connected to all the body organs and parts through uh, nerves that are just like wires if we take the brain and the spinal cord together they form the central nervous system which is responsible for interpretation and uh, deciding uh, things and giving orders uh, while the nerves uh, constitute the peripheral nervous system which their function is only to transmit nervous messages now if we take a look uh, at the brain of uh, the vertebrates and especially the humans it's made of three main parts the cerebrum which is the biggest part of the brain the cerebellum which is smaller which is smaller than the cerebrum and finally the brain stem or the medulla oblongata which is the link between the brain and the spinal cord the cerebrum is uh, mainly responsible for initiation of movement it is uh, responsible for coordination of movement uh, for uh, maintaining temperature or controlling temperature uh, coordination of touch, vision, hearing, judgment, reasoning, problem solving, about emotions, and even learning. So it is responsible for lots of uh, voluntary actions mainly, while if we go to the cerebellum, it is uh, responsible for coordinating voluntary muscle movement to maintain posture, balance, and equilibrium. And finally, the brain stem is responsible it's very vital it's a very vital part uh, it uh, contains the control centers for the heart and lungs which carry on uh, involuntary actions and uh, reflex actions that keep us alive now if you talk about the nervous system of invertebrates of course there are a lot of invertebrates for example the hydra the echino echinoderms the uh, arcanids, the arthropods, etc. But they all have things in common, which we will see now. Let's take an example about uh, one type of invertebrate, which is the shrimp. It, uh, it belongs to the species of uh, crustaceans. And uh, the shrimp, if we dissect it, we see first that uh, if we remove all the muscles around uh, the shrimp we notice that at the ventral side of the shrimp which is the front side not the back of the shrimp we see the uh, nervous system which is mainly like a, a long nerve okay a long tube and uh, along this tube we see a lot of nodes these nodes are called ganglia okay so this is a diagram notice how it has a long uh, thread-like structure this is the nervous system but along all this uh, the nervous system we have nodes or ganglia the plural of ganglion now each ganglion has a certain name according to the uh, position for example this ganglion is called optical ganglia because it's connected to the eyes then we have the cerebral ganglia which is just like the brain okay invertebrates we have here a group of ganglia together are called the thoracic ganglia because they are uh, located in the thorax okay in this part of the crustacean or the shrimp then we have another group of ganglia together they are called abdominal ganglia because they are located in the abdomen 
of the shrimp so these are the uh, parts the main parts of the nervous system of the shrimp we can say that the ganglia here they are just like the central nervous system of vertebrates they act just like the brain and the spinal cord of the uh, vertebrates and these uh, extensions are just like the nerves of the vertebrates so if i want to compare between the nervous system of the shrimp which is an invertebrate to that of the human which is a vertebrate of course we're taking the shrimp and the human as examples but all invertebrates and vertebrates have um, the same characteristics almost okay first uh, we'll uh, compare the location we said that the nervous system in the shrimp or in the vertebrate is the at the ventral side and the front side of the uh, animal while the uh, nervous system in the human for example it's found in the back in the dorsal side in the inside the vertebral column of the human now if we look at the central nervous system in the shrimp or the invertebrates there are uh, ganglia okay but in the human or vertebrates the central nervous system consists of the spinal cord and the brain finally the peripheral nervous system in the invertebrate in both invertebrates and vertebrates is um, made of nerves which transmit uh, the nervous messages here we reach the end of our video i hope it was easy uh, thanks for watching and come back for new videos